What happened to World Flipped? Now firstly, I know some of you will be thinking, what in the hell is World Flipped? Well, World Flipped was the name of a little street part I was going to film and post here on YouTube. So why didn't I post it? Well, there are a few reasons for this one, which I'm going to explain in this video. Let's go back to the start and tell you my plan for the video. Last year, right at the start of the year, I went to Australia to visit my daughter. That is when the idea of World Flipped come about. I thought I would film half the video in Australia and half here where I was from in England. That's where the name World Flipped come from. As Australia is on the other side of the world from England. The idea was in place, I just needed to get out there and skate. I had planned a few spots that I was going to hit whilst I was out in Australia, but the street skating was not the only skating I had planned for the trip. I also wanted to do a skate park Saturdays playlist for some of the amazing parks over the if you've not seen this, go and check it out because there's some real gems of skate parks out there in Australia. However, Skate Park Saturdays is where the first real issue came up for World Flipped. At one of the early skate parks, I went and I injured my toe. And this affected my skating for the rest of the trip. After this happened, I didn't try some of the street skating that I wanted to do. And I just did a few easier alternatives to make sure I'd filled in all the gaps. But even though some of these were easier, they still took a while for me to get, as my toe was affecting me completely. One trick I needed to get somewhere though was a kickflip. I gave my toe as much time as I could to recover, and on the last day, it was the day I was flying home, I got up super early and I went out to get this kickflip. It took me about 40 minutes of trying and by the end my toe was absolutely killing me. But I got the kickflip on the bank and I was happy. So I came to edit the Australia part of my video but the kickflip land wasn't there. I had all the attempts leading up to it, just not the land. File with the landed kickflip was missing. So after all that, getting up super early, putting my toe through all that torture for 40 minutes, there was no kickflip. I was so disappointed, but I still edited together the footage I had. With these issues I had, it just didn't come out as good as I was hoping it would do. But I'd put all the work in anyway, so I thought, let's still go ahead with it and see what we can get. Let's just make the best out of a bad situation. So, I thought, hopefully I can bring it back with some of the footage from Manchester and make the video part a bit better there by having some better quality skating in that part. So the Manchester part of the video, I got to working on it and it started out great. I got two lines that I wanted for the video that I'd already planned. I got them in the very first day of going out and it wasn't as difficult as I expected them to be. And I got them, I wouldn't say easy, but I got them fairly easy for my standards. And I thought, yeah, it's going good, it's going okay. And then I followed that up a few other bits for the video as the weeks went on but in the end I just couldn't get the last few tricks or lines I needed just to finish the video. We had one of the wettest summers ever and when it was dry I just couldn't get to Manchester to film and as time ticked on the winter rolled in and the weather just got worse from there on in. But, I didn't want to give up, I thought, let's just try and see 
how it goes towards Christmas and over the new year and if I could get this part together. Christmas came along and I still didn't have a finished video part. It was a year ago since I went to Australia and I started this process to try and make this street part world flipped. I thought if somehow I could just get out and get it filmed between Christmas and New Year or just after the New Year then I could throw it together and it could like commemorate my Australia trip because it would have been a year to the time of me getting it up and posted. That wasn't to be though. And it just went downhill from there. In the new year I got ill. I was ill for about four weeks. I tried to skate during this time at one point. You'll have seen the last video that I posted. But I just didn't have the energy to really go out there and give it my all. So after that video I actually got more ill with a sinus infection and it just floored me. So now I'm pretty much over the illness. So you think yes you can get out there and maybe do it now but I have another issue. Just as everything was getting better with me and my illness was finally all going I had a bit of a coughing fit and something just like popped or pulled in my ribs and it was so so painful it was horrendous so that has again stopped me from skating and the worst thing is I'm not sure when I will be back skating because I don't know how long it's going to take for this to heal plus then when I do get back to skating I'm not sure what long term effects this is going to have had on me am I going to be out of practice am I going to be able to do what I used to be able to do I'm going to have to start from scratch again so I'm very disappointed but for that reason I've just had to give up on the idea of world flipped it's just not going to be so like I said I'm disappointed that I never got to get the street part that I envisioned out but who knows maybe one day when I get back to Australia I'll be able to get an even better street part out and show you guys how good that one is but until then here is the Australia part of World Flipped that I edited together and created. So enjoy and hopefully I'll be able to get out and I'll be able to skate and film some more for a new video part very soon.